Hello everyone, Jarnus Designs here with uh, another tutorial. This will be in After Effects on the uh, intro template I just posted on YouTube. Uh, so we're just gonna r jump right in and I'm gonna f show you a quick look on the intro if you haven't already seen it. You can see it, this blue thing comes onto the screen and when it goes into the middle it bursts into m m very big amount of particles, almost a million there, but I don't think there are millions of particles and then my name appears and so yeah I'm gonna teach you how to customize this in uh, multiple ways and so how to change the color of these particles how to change the text and the outline and I'm gonna show you how to render it and a little, a little more uh, a little uh, stuff like that so yeah we're just gonna get right to it and when you open the file it will look like this you're gonna open project uh, and you're gonna just type its name in uh, like that and you're gonna hit open and now it's gonna look like this you see this uh, I'm sorry but I won't include the sound in the uh, downloads uh, so you can just get your own sound and add that if you want some sound or yeah so I'm just gonna remove that so there won't be any confusion and we see these three uh, compositions here uh, the main part which is the part where you gonna where you're gonna edit the middle part uh, of the intro is um, it basically is uh, I just slowed it down because it was too quick here with the particles and the intro was too short so I just slowed that down you don't have to touch this or the end part you don't have to touch that unless you want to like speed it up or anything which uh, I don't think you have to because it's a pretty good speed for a fade out so this main here is where you're gonna um, customize so we're just gonna double click that and open that so here we go we can see um, we're gonna go to about two seconds in and we can see this text clearly so what most people want to do is change the text to their name so we're gonna do that so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna select the text tool which is a T you can probably figure out which is the text tool uh, so you can just click that and then you're gonna select the text layer and you're gonna click anywhere here on the text now we can just go to the last letter and just delete everything and we can type a name let's see here we can type um, well, let's just type ABC123 there we go and 4 5 so it's about as long as John just uh, and maybe you want to change the color of the the uh, numbers and letters you can just you gotta select them all just drag over and select them all or you can select this tool and just double click and it would select all of the text automatically and you can just choose this color right here and click that and you can change it to this is the uh, fill of the text not the stroke not the outline so maybe we want to change this to a pink pinkish light pink text and now if you do not want the blue outline you can just click on this square back here which says stroke color and we're gonna click that and we're gonna click it again and now we can choose the stroke color so maybe I want it to be white well, you, you can't see the result unless you click OK, so I'm going to choose some random color. Let's choose green. This will look awful, but whatever. Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot. Uh, you gotta, you got to select the whole text first. So you can... No, I'm going to change this to green. Oh, that did look awful. I'm going to make it purple instead. So it matches. There we go. Now we change the stroke and the text color. So that wasn't that hard. If you want to make the text bigger, you can just select it all. 
you don't forget to select it because you gotta select all of the text otherwise it, it won't affect the text at all so you can choose the size here set the font size and you can scrub it up or scrub it down I'm gonna keep mine at around the same as it was and yeah that that's the text part of it this if, if you want this font it's called Bitsumishi and if you want to download it you can just go to dafont.com and search for Bitsumishi uh, it's a pretty cool font but yeah I recommend you to download it because it's cool now if you wanna change these particles these blue particles over here you can just hit this blue particles this layer right here and you're gonna go into effect controls you see I've used the CC particle world uh, effect to make this so if you wanna change the particles uh, the color of the particles you're gonna go to particles and just click this little arrow here and it drops down and shows you all the settings and you can see here these colors these are the colors I used for the uh, particles so you can just change that maybe I want it pink I just set the first one to pink and maybe the second one so uh, to light pink there we go now we got a pink um, pink intro so you can see the this blue thing uh, well this blue thing in the beginning it's not blue anymore but it used to be it also turned pink automatically and all the particles turned pink and this is just great so there we go now maybe you don't want this white background you can change that too you're just gonna click the background layer and you can see I use the ramp effect to create the background now if you want the see it's it's a little gray here in the middle and they it's white here around it so if you want to change the white to maybe black kinda looks a little spacey space like you can just do that you can change to well red but that looks kinda messed up and you can change this middle part from gray to uh, not white and uh, maybe you want to change that to all black or maybe you want to change to uh, a little pink like now we got a space pink a pink space intro that looks kinda cool and that pretty much wraps it up um, thank you for watching this tutorial on how to edit the uh, intro template I posted and also thank you for 200 subscribers uh, I'm gonna post uh, some more videos soon more tutorials uh, in Cinema 4D, After Effects, and Sony Vegas, maybe Photoshop as well. If you want that, you can just tell me. And remember, if you want an intro, you can just send me a private message on YouTube, or maybe write a comment on one of my video, uh, one of my videos. And this has been Johnny's Designs. Thank you for watching. See you later.